Hello everybody, this is NCS, and welcome back to Let's Play Vampire's Dawn, Reign of Blood. Last time, we played Asuka's minigame for like half an hour, and today, we will go to Asuka's magic chamber and learn some more magic spells, I assume. We did learn three optional spells when we were walking through this castle already, the fireball spell, which is a basic fire elemental spell, the Ice Ball spell, which is a basic uh, ice elemental spell, and can freeze and or paralyze enemies, and the Waken spell, which can, well, wake up s sleep allies. I guess I'm only doing this intro so long because we need forever to get to the magic chamber. <laughs> which is just down this hallway here. Although before we uh, go there, if you've checked uh, on this uh, lever here, Asuka will actually know that the switch has been operated. <laughs> yeah, just wanted to show that uh, that up there. And down here we have the magic chamber, finally! With some uh, creepy sounding music. Here we have the magic chamber. Hmm, looks pretty stale. There they are, Walna. Not so fast. This is a place full of magic. Dire magic. What are those screams? Those are the tortured screams of the souls which are trapped in this chamber. More precisely, the souls trapped in that mighty machine back there. Mighty machine? Doesn't look all too mighty to me, just like some glowing goggle statues, or whatever those are. This is a piece of the darkest magic which has ever existed. It is a Soul Transformer. A Soul Transformer? What is that supposed to be? With this machine you can transform every soul in this world into a Soul Stone. Let me tell you, Anna, vampire magic needs a lot of Soul Stones. Without Soul Stones, we couldn't even use half of our magic. That's a lie! You only need those for... For summons, really. At least in this game. And in the next one, I don't think there are Soul Stones. Soul Stones. Especially summoning magic requires these, yeah. So we have three different kinds of soul stones, small, normal, and huge. And, well, you need those for different sums. And yeah, to get souls, we just have to kill everything there is. Monsters or humans. Just do that, you will get the soul. Like that. So, will we do... What uh, Asuka just said, and kill a lot of humans to gain souls, or... Nah, let's not do that. Oh, Walna, you will use it sooner or later anyway, believe me. Well, we will use this machine, but not with human souls. Yeah, so the stronger the soul is, which we got, either weak, normal, or strong souls, the, uh, we get a better kind of soul stone. And we can, uh transform one kind of soul stone, soul stone to another one. So, ooh, we finally get the menu. Yeah, you need to uh, wait until this point of time, until you can finally make one up fast. Ugh. And here's just uh, how the menu works, but I'll go with that later on. So, oh, and here we got a few soul stones or also souls. I believe souls and soul stones. And if you check the uh, left, the red gargoyle, you can play the destiny game. Where you can just bet soul stones to get uh, various items or nothing at all most of the times. What a barbaric game! They play with the souls of innocent humans! Ha! <laughs> ha! Now, innocent is no nobody has a re nobody has a real innocent soul. Do not forget that. How do you you forgot? I can read your mind. Then I better should take care of what I'm thinking. <laughs> yeah, I better do that, well enough. But yeah, I don't really like the Destiny game because no oh, safe stones. Because well. I believe the chance of getting nothing is 5, 6, so yeah, the you basically never get anything important. Although, 
you need to play this game if you want to get the strongest kind of helmet in this game, but you need to bash huge soul stones, and really I rather use uh, huge souls. Actually, I don't use huge soul stones at all, but I rather use um, uh, huge, uh, strong souls to uh, for well, other kinds of stuff. And these blue gargles here are the magic learning system. Here we can learn new magic. Simple as that. So here for Walna, Walna can normally learn either light magic or shadow magic. Uh, if you choose to learn light magic, Walna will gain one humanity. For shadow magic, he will lose one humanity. However, uh, well, control weather stops rain storm really. Rain does nothing at all in this game. You're not weakened by it or anything because you're a vampire of the third generation or higher, and thus uh, flowing water does not affect you. So really, choosing control weather is pointless. Instead, let's choose Obscure Cloud because for that we at least have a chance of 70% to blind an enemy. Base chance, rather, because uh, well, if an enemy is immune to your blind, then well, it will be nothing. So yeah, that. Now we have um, our first spell there and a cat that wants my attention. <laughs> anyway, uh, in the center blue goggle we get the magic for Asuka. He can have either ice magic, shadow magic, or healing death magic. On level 1 you get blood cure, which uh, cures one person the cheapest and most cost-efficient healing spell there is, Obscure Cloud again, or the Ice Ball spell. Because, uh, well, I just wanted to say because uh, I'm going to make a lane to my healer because she also has access to healing death magic. I'm going to give Asuka the Ice Ball spell, well I'll still do that. However, offensive magic isn't all that great in this game, really. Because, uh, it costs too much. Well, yeah, with the feet command, you can, well, absorb blood from the enemy and thus uh, refill your um, blood amount. However, this, the cost is still, you, most of the time, way too much for what it's worth. And thus, I usually just attack normally anyway. So yeah, with the lane, I'm going to give her the blood cure spell and I completely forgot to show the... Uh, level 1 status spell. Yeah, Elaine can also learn status magic, but I believe her level 1 spell is... Waken. <laughs> and since one has that already, well, let's just keep it there. So that's all of the magic we can get from here. However, here we have the Soul Assimilator. Here we can fuse uh, souls with ourselves and become stronger like that. And this is actually one of the best uh, things, well, best places to <laughs> increase your stats, really. Yeah, just stand on the pentagram, spend 30 weak, 20 normal, or 10 strong souls, and you can raise one of your stats. However, we do not have enough souls for that just yet, and we cannot escape from here, so yeah, just choose something, and... Yeah, I have no third soul, so I cannot do that. However, I just realized uh, we have 15 normal souls, and we actually want to get some normal soul stones. So what we want to do is, we want to choose normal soul, transform all our normal so uh, souls into normal soul stones, and then we have 15 normal soul stones. We want to do that because, well, we will need that in a second, let's just say that, I don't want to spoil anything. And over here we have some magic tomes, where we can learn two new spells that we want to get, and transformation, so we can untransform from the from the wolf form, and dissolve summon with, with which we can, well, dissolve a summon. <laughs> just easy as that. Well, unfortunately, actually I think we do have the summon skeleton spell, don't we? Or, no, I, we only had an increase for that for that ability, right? So yeah, we want to have these spells because um, 
Dang it, why is there a word cut off? <laughs> because, well... Yeah, you cannot save while you are transformed or have any summons with you. So yeah. Still, we want to... Yeah, not that bookshelf. We want to check these uh, bookshelves here so we can learn these magics. Because otherwise, Asuka would leave. Well, let us leave this place. And here we have the other one. Nice. Nothing over here. And nothing over here either. Unlike the magic tome in your, uh, in your room, these magic tomes here, which Walna says he can't read them, uh, don't bother with them. But the one in Walna's room, remember that for way later. <laughs> So, and uh, our wounds heal automatically, as long as we have enough blood, well, more than one-fourth of the blood amount that we have. So for a while now we want to make sure that his blood never reaches 5 or lower. And yeah, now we want to leave this castle and go to a town that is close to here, Melzahn. One of the uh, undead was already talking about that town, I believe. Um, but yeah, let's just leave this castle. Yeah, I know, it always takes forever to leave the castle. And it won't be any better in a sec, because we also need to walk down the huge mountain. No! Yeah, I don't know why the magic chamber was located. It's such a desolate place. Could have really been closer to the... Uh, to the entrance of the castle, but oh well. We will eventually get a way to get there a lot faster. But for right now, we have to walk in and out. But it could be worse, I guess. Alright, let's leave this castle. And the mountain. Oh my god, this is going on forever! <laughs> I know it's really great for atmosphere and all, but really, it, this path here could be a little shorter if you ask me. Anyway, um, one of the servants was talking about there being a ghost over here, which is in this castle. However, it does want us to get it an item, and these monsters in this cave are a bit strong, so let's not go inside there for right now, and instead, go out here and fight a goblin! Our first random encounter in this game. And really all we want to- OW! Yikes! Critical hit at the first attack! Ow! I just want to say what we want to do is um, just attack because this enemy is pretty weak anyway, but holy heck! I almost killed Walnut in one hit! And you might be a little stronger there. Still not dead! Yikes! I thought this goblin was far weaker, but that's probably because I'm usually a little stronger at this point of the game, but, well, when I am on this part of the world map. So yeah, let's heal Walna there, and enter this cave before we get into the, uh, to the next town, because this here is Asuka's personal silver mine. I know, it sounds illogical. We mine silver here and then sell it to the humans, so we can get some money which we in turn spend by buying item, items from the humans. I don't understand anything, you kill humans and you sell them silver? Well, there are also traders among the humans. Humans that trade with vampires to gain fortune quickly. And these traders are the people we sell the silver to. Actually, I never do that, I just sell the silver to the normal people selling or buying stuff. And that is how we obtain our money, which we in turn spend to buy blood potions, for example. These traders sell blood potions? Where do they get them from? Well, these blood potions are a mixture of animal and human blood. There are also humans who care about nothing but money. So, there must be enough vampires to trade with these traders. Well, the number of vampires is quite low since the Holy War. Although they have not become extinct, whereas I have to add that I have not seen a single vampire in quite a while. Oh well, I'm sure you're going to show me these traitors, I take it? 
Exactly. But for now, we want to talk to the Supervisor. This mine has been attacked by humans recently, so there is only one working skeleton currently. The mine silver is stored in my castle just before my clip, by the way. And that's where you always pick up your silver. Correct. And then I bring it to the human traders. Well, now, you should be aware that the trade with silver is a double-edged sword. The humans obviously use the money to create new weapons and armors. Because the humans probably wonder what has happened to the scouts they have sent to inspect this mine, it is probably unavoidable that our existence is going to become known. Until then, we have to become strong enough to fend off the humans. But the humans have become reorganized since the death of Winston Waynard. You seem to know your way around really well considering you're not that much older than I am. Don't forget, I am a vampire of the first generation. I am far more powerful than you are. And I am far more adaptive too. Asgard required only a few hours to explain our current situation to me. So what? Just because you're oh so more adaptive, you think you're better than me? Ha! You don't even have that great physical or offensive spells! Wait, didn't I say offense was crap in this game? <laughs> Oops. Stop it with your bickering. Let us settle the matters of this mine here first. After that, we will be going to the east and pay a visit to the town over there. Yeah, let's do that. Aha! I got this one quickly. Yeah, up here, we have the Superwisen skeleton for this mine. And, if you want to get more workers for this mine so we get more silver quickie, uh, quickly, then we have to spend five soul stones. That is the reason why I told you to uh, transform all of your normal so souls to normal soul stones. Because that way we can create three more workers and, yeah, get more money quickly. Alright! In this mine we can get up to 20 workers. So yeah, once you've reached 20 workers you can't get any more. And have to get other mines instead. Before we go into the town over there, there is a little... Screw you game. <laughs> um, yeah, here we have a brown bear. Oh yeah, we have a little... Um, well, beach area over there. Now the brown bear is actually a little weaker than the goblin. So, yeah, just to keep attacking it eventually it will die. And we get a weak soul from it too. Uh, does anybody need healing? Yeah, maybe a little bit. And here we have a beach. I usually completely forget about that area until I am um, way later in the game and... Uh, Happened to find that place by accident. And actually, I don't think the game wants you to go here right now. And instead, just go to the. Well. To the town first before you get here. But I thought, well. Because I'll never get here anymore anyway, might as well go here now. And to be all honest, this area here is completely useless. But, well, yeah, I just thought of showing it. Also, um, we have some new options uh, when talking to these people here. Talk, feed, transform, and leave. I will go over that a little uh, once we actually go into the next town. Because, well, that is where the game actually explains this to you. <laughs> yeah, yeah, I'll be leaving. But let's see, do we have anything we can steal from here? What do you mean, no? There's so much stuff stored- Ah, there we go, ointment. <laughs> uh, there's so much stuff here, so there just had to be something. Uh, but the ointment, that heals 25 HP. The bandage that we got earlier uh, cures bleeding, just by the way. Uh, so yeah, now that we are at the next town, we get a another random encounter. Thanks, game. Now that we are at the next town, we will enter it next time here on Let's Play Vampire's Dawn, Reign of Blood. This was NCS, and farewell for now.
and let's say before something bad happens. 